so I picked up this um, sort of aviator style jacket, bomber jacket off of eBay the other day, super cheap. And I absolutely love it. It's really comfy, quite warm in this uh, murky sort of summer we've been having. It'd be great for the winter. Um, it's old. It's it was sold as a 70s era jacket and I've got no reason not to believe that. But it smells quite musty. I think it's been in storage for a bit. I love the, the leather on it. It's got a sort of worn, is it patina on there? Quite nice which I want to try and keep. I like the colour, which I'd like to keep, but I do need it to be a little bit more waterproof than it probably is, because the leather feels quite um, sort of dry, like it hasn't been fed or treated for a long time. Um, I had a lot of success with my gold top gloves, treating them with the, uh, the gold top proprietary uh, water repellent balm. I don't know if that's coming up, uh, which is basically beeswax. Um, so I'm going to have a crack at uh, giving this jacket a bit of a beeswax treatment and uh, seeing what it does. So catch you in a bit. So to do this, I have ordered myself a fresh tin from uh, the Gold Top Shop, which came super fast. I think it was um, 48 hour delivery. They dispatched it about half an hour after I'd ordered it in the middle of the day, which was amazing. Um, from the Gold Top Shop, some more of the uh, repellent balm. Um, and it's cheap. I know it's only a little tin, but it, it compares well to alternatives that are out on the market. And you get some other stuff in there from them. Uh, rather nice business card with their details on. A sticker, which I'll be putting on the windshield on the GPZ tomorrow. And a voucher with a rather nice image on it, which entitles you to a free beverage in store. So next time we go up to the shop, Oh, collectible card number two. Actually, I might not go for the free beverage. I might keep the collectible card, to be honest. But, um, yeah, either way, very pleased with that. So, as I said in the introduction, um, this is basically beeswax. I can't find an ingredient breakdown anywhere for this, but it certainly smells like beeswax, and um, it's got that sort of consistency to it. Um, when I'm waxproofing my... Uh, wax cotton barber that I use for work that kind of wax I pop that into a mug of boiling water just to soften it um, but when I was doing the gloves I found I didn't need to do that and in fact in this kind of muggy day it's already quite soft actually even without doing anything um, I thought I had some sponge uh, kicking around at home but I don't so I've just got a soft cloth to, to apply it with. Um, a lot of people like to give their jacket a bit of a clean, first of all, just with a, with a damp cloth, just to sort of clean off anything that's on there. I'm not too worried. I, I know it probably absorbed better, but it's just not the way I roll. And uh, so I'm just gonna go on ahead and start putting this stuff on. But you can see, I hope the camera can pick it up. You can see um, what I was talking about earlier, some of the nice aging that this jacket has and the kind of uh, darkish brown that it, it's at, but it's very dry and the leather is starting to crack and I just want to give it a bit of a feed because I do ride in all sorts of weathers, hot, cold and wet and all sorts. So um, I want to give the jacket a chance and if not, give the jacket a chance to keep me a bit dry as well. Um, but yeah, be interesting to see how some of these patches are after we've applied the stuff. So, literally, all I'm gonna do, put a little bit on the cloth, like that, and then massage it into the jacket like that. So, uh, let's get to it. Thank you. 
So actually this jacket must be fairly clean because that's the back done and it's really only the, the residue from the wax itself. So uh, my cleaning, my laziness with the cleaning, probably will get away with that to be honest. <laughs> Um, so it's obviously still um, freshly applied, but you can see the contrast there between the old leather that I haven't treated yet and the leather that has been treated. I mean, after uh, a ride, a decent ride out tomorrow, then it's going to lose a lot of this sort of new wax shine. Um, and I'll probably go over it again and rub it in a bit more carefully, but it gives you an idea. Okay, so after about 10 minutes of uh, applying this beeswax, it's used probably, I don't know, almost half a tin, maybe a third of a tin. Um, and that was, what was it, 30, I can't remember how big those tins are, I think it was about 30 mil. It's quite a small tin, but yeah, and that was on a, a an old jacket that felt quite dry. Um, so it feels a bit softer, the leather. It's got rid of some of that sort of storage creasing that it had. Um, it's obviously darkened it up, but as the wax dries off, that should come back a bit. And hopefully it'll come back with the aging that it had. Um, you know, you can still see on the elbows, some of that wear is still there. So I think as it dries, that'll come back quite nice. But hopefully, you know, the main thing is it'll be a little bit more waterproof than it was before. And I'd probably only normally do that a couple of times a year to be honest, but I may do it again before the autumn as it has been so long since this jacket's had anything on it. But yeah, um, let's see how it turns out after a ride or two. Um, I'm not sure what kind of leather this is. It was quite, it's fairly heavyweight and it was quite a sort of hard leather. It wasn't as soft as I expected it to be when I saw the photos of the jacket online, but I couldn't tell you for sure what sort of leather this is. I don't think it says on the label. No, it doesn't. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I'll let you know how waterproof it has become, but hopefully it'll do as good a job as it does on the gloves, and um, we'll see how we go. Yeah, so just a quick footnote, really. The, so these are the uh, gold top gloves. Um, that I use uh, Cafe Real Cafe Racer Quilted Deluxe. I think no, Cafe Racer Quilted. I think they were. Anyway, they're really nice gloves, nice and comfy. Um, had them probably over a year now. Use them in all weathers, all seasons, um, and they've been treated with the same stuff. This beeswax uh, water repellent from Gold Top. Um, and they've sort of darkened in places, but I don't know if that's because of the beeswax or just the sort of general use in the rain and the sun and all the rest of it. You can see on the pad in there. Is the camera getting that? The way they've sort of gone darker in places, which is quite nice. <coughs> Excuse me. 
yeah, that's the colour they were originally all over. Um, but yeah, they're still in really good condition. Um, you can feel that they've been treated. They've got that sort of almost waxy kind of feel to them. But of course, that does mean that they are quite waterproof. And they are, in fact, pretty waterproof. I've got to be in quite a downpour for, you know, a fair while before it actually soaks through. And then, you know, once it has soaked through, they're as useless as any other leather glove in the rain. But, you know, that's fine. I've got some over gloves for the winter. So, you know, that's all good. But, uh, yeah, so a little bit about uh, waxing your jacket. But let me know what you use on your jacket and... Um, whether you wear a leather jacket all year round or what you wear and how you look after it. But anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.